Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Magic the Gathering Arena, let's have a look at my new Brawl deck. And uh, my commander is going to be Valky, God of Lies. And I got the card because I like Tybalt. He's one of my favorite characters. Uh, but uh, Valky on the other side of the card is pretty interesting too. And then I get access to uh, black and red by using that commander. So I have black and red here. And I'm going to try to go for a deck where I sacrifice a lot and then get benefits from that. And then one fun thing about Valky is that he's very cheap. It's uh, one black, one colorless. And then when I bring him out, I can look at the opponent's uh, hand. So we'll do that here. And then if they got a creature, I can basically take that creature and then I can cast it on my turn uh, for colorless mana, or any mana. Alright, so I see one creature there, we'll grab that. And uh, this is nice for me as kind of a uh, beginning player, or beginning again player, because there's all these new cards. I can look at cards, I can uh, test them out, and I can annoy the opponent very much. <laughs> Let's see if I can bring up the card. There it is. 1-1, uh, one, one, indestructible. Can't be countered. Must attack every turn, and then um, my guys that hit the opponent will let me draw cards. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll use this guy to draw a card. I don't have any lands, so I would like that. So this deck is annoying because I can use the opponent's cards against them. Uh, but it's also annoying because I can generate like so many tokens because I just want a lot of fodder for sacrifice uh, that it's very difficult for other people to attack me to get through all of my guys. So a lot of people quit against me when I play with this deck. <laughs> Uh, maybe at a uh, later date, I will uh, go through my deck and show you all the cards that I use, but there's some fun stuff in there. And actually, most of it is from um, the handout decks, just kind of mixing and matching. So a lot of these cards should be familiar to people. Uh, but Valky and uh, Tybalt I grabbed with the, um, the wild card. And I have lots of uh, Death Touch in this deck as well. It's a turtley deck, I guess. I don't know if that's a uh, term that you use in Magic, but it's very defensive. I don't have a lot of big creatures. I'm kind of relying on Valky to grab big creatures. Uh, but I do have some flying guys, so maybe I could uh, fly over people and then hit the opponent. One thing I was considering was um, adding some goblins that can kind of make my guys unblockable. That might be an option. Alright, so he's got his commander out. We'll make a player uh, discard a card, or exile a card, rather. Mm, I guess this uh, creature looks the scariest, so we'll get rid of him. All right, let's put dead weight on the commander. Make him a non-factor. And he can't kill us, so we'll go ahead and attack. I'll leave my guy with Death Touch in case he has somebody with haste. Although I can see his hand, he doesn't have anybody. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's see, what is he doing? Exiling my card from the graveyard and doing damage to me. That's fine. Beanstalk Giant. One of my least favorite cards to go against. Another way that I could use a Valky is just to grab a creature and then like never activate it. Just to kind of like trap it. But we got the uh, the mana. So let's check the price for and all. One, two, three, four, and pay. Fine. And we will become this squirrel thing. Alrighty. <laughs> All right, another uh, character with uh, Death Touch. So now I can attack with my other Death Touch guy. Might as well. Doesn't have any blockers. Or he has uh, one blocker, rather. Okay, and because of this creature that I've stolen, I can draw two cards. <laughs> that must be pretty demoralizing. <laughs> Uh, what's funny though is that if I use Valky and the uh, the opponent has no creatures, I can't grab anybody, and he's just a two-one guy. Uh, but he's cheap, so if he dies, he'll go up to uh, cost four in all, and then six, and then eight. So I can cast him multiple times, but after I use him a couple times, people kind of wise up, and they don't leave any uh, creatures in their hand. But at that point, I could wait until I have enough uh, mana in order to cast uh, the Tybalt side and get a uh, Planeswalker. So, fun deck. There's some options here. I need to do some research, though, in uh, black and red to see like which cards would be like good uh, token generators or like uh, token creature generators. All right, so I'm putting out a couple guys. They can uh, kind of sacrifice people at will, or if they are sacrificed, they'll generate other tokens. All right, same deal here. We'll attack with everybody, but leave a uh, death touch guy. Draw a couple more cards. And I really, really like this idea. I'm going to stick with this. And um, kind of fiddle with it. If you have any recommendations for this deck, let me know. I already grabbed the uh, the black red legendary creature. I forget her name, uh, but something something diva. When my own guys die, uh, she can do damage to other people. But other than that, if you have any uh, recommendations, I was looking at the uh, the Minotaur Planeswalker. He can like take advantage, or he can take control of guys and then uh, sacrifice them if they are uh, below a certain cost. Uh, but I have other ways in this deck just to sacrifice people at will. So I could even uh, grab uh, big guys and then sacrifice them. I'm going to put in more guys with Death Touch. And then the opponent, he put out uh, that staff, which can uh, disable uh, indestructible, so... Probably next turn my squirrel is going to die. Uh, because the squirrel must attack every turn. And we'll attack with everybody but uh, death touch guys again. And he 
will turn off my indestructible. Okay, kill my squirrel. But I get to draw three cards from that last attack. Feels good. <laughs> Okay, he'll cast his Squirrel. I have plenty of guys though, so he's not going to uh, hit me directly. It's hilarious that I can still see his entire hand. <laughs> And so at this point, I would maybe try to cast uh, Tybalt, rather than Valky. When they have like just like one card in their hand, it becomes very risky to cast Valky. Oh, they quit. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so I can get victories with this deck because it's so annoying and slow. And then it's interesting because I can kind of have a different game, you know, every time I play. Because uh, depending on what the opponent has, I'll be able to use like different weird cards. So yeah, this might have some uh, legs on this one, this uh, deck here. Okay, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.